One of the common mistakes we've seen in machine vision solutions is the wrong choice of PCs for your computing needs. Hi, my name is Raghava Kashyapa. I'm the CEO of Qualitas Technologies. And in this video, I'm gonna break down three common mistakes people do when choosing their PCs for their machine vision solutions. Now, why is a PC important in your vision solution? So as I've covered in a few previous videos, once an image is acquired from your camera, it has to be processed to come up with a judgment or a decision. And that's where computational requirements are important. So there are two ways to do this. One is on the camera itself, and that's an embedded solution or a smart camera solution. The other way is it's actually done by an external PC, um, which processes those images acquired by the camera to come up with the decision. So, when you perform these computations on a PC, it's sometimes very tempting to use a desktop PC which you would use in your normal course of business. And that's mistake number one. Now let's take a look at why. There are three reasons why you would want to consider an industrial PC specialized for industrial and machine vision use. Number one, reliability. So desktop PCs or business PCs aren't really uh, conducive for the use in industrial uh, environments. So a lot of times there are dusty environments, it's used 24-7, it sometimes is a lot of variation in, in ambient temperature, which uh, makes it less reliable in terms of um, how they would perform over a long period of time. Number two, the choice of I.O. connectivity. Now in a lot of machine vision solutions, you might use multiple cameras you know, up to 16 cameras is what, you know, I've seen uh, solutions being developed. Now to connect those, you, if you're going to use an industrial PC, you're going to be limited by the number of uh, connected connectivity ports that you can interface with these cameras. On the other hand, specialized industrial PCs give you the option of having multiple ethernet ports, which with its dedicated uh, bandwidth and bus interface on the motherboard. So making your solutions robust and, and ensuring that your network um, in bandwidth is not going to be the bottleneck in your vision solution. Similarly, you could also have external connected devices like PLCs or which are connected with industrial standard protocols like serial ports or using RS-232 or RS-485 which are uh, typically not present in desktop and business PCs. So that's where industrial PCs really come into the picture. So it's important to choose the right PC along with the right configuration to make sure that it suits your vision application. And number three, and last but not the least, is the thermal management within those PCs. So what do I mean by that? So it's, it's actually a little known fact that uh, as the temperature rises, within the PC of the silicon, which is uh, the computational silicon, which is a CPU, the performance degrades. So if you are not um, managing the heat within those uh, PCs, you're actually gonna see a degradation in performance. So what does that mean? So you may buy a very high-end CPU, like a i7 processor, but if um, there's a lot of heat due to the computation and, and ambient conditions, your performance would actually drop down to, let's say, an equivalent i5 processor. So you're really paying for something that you're not getting the value for. So, but industrial PCs, on the other hand, are designed um, with thermal management and um, with these robust heat sinks, etc., in mind so that you can actually uh, control the heat dissipation and ensure that you're getting the maximum performance for what you've actually designed the system for. So I have a couple of industrial PCs here in front of me. There's um, an Atom-based PC, which is, it kind of fits in the palm of my hand, which is probably the lower end of the compute spectrum. And then we have something which is a little bit more powerful with a full-fledged GPU, uh, which is perfectly suited for uh, deep learning and AI uh, inferencing uh, solutions. So as you can see, it has, it's a fanless environment as well as um, without you know, any kind of uh, vents or openings which you typically see in a desktop PC. And it's got these rugged fins, which are, is actually a heat sink for heat dissipation. And, and as I mentioned, 
uh, before the, the, the number of ports. So each of these are very configurable. So you can actually swap out this card, have multiple uh, Ethernet ports or use industrial ports like RS-232s or serial ports which you could uh, connect PLCs or other peripheral devices to. The same with uh, this PCs. Let's take a closer look. And here's your COM ports. So you have three uh, COM ports in addition to you know, um, a, an additional uh, slot for your actual digital I IOs in case you have that requirement as well. So it's it's pretty flexible in terms of uh, what you can uh, configure in terms of IOs. The Atom-based PC also has you know multiple Ethernet ports, and not just on this side, but you know it has COM ports, serial ports on uh, you know the other side as well as an, uh, and this comes with actual digital I/O port as well, which you can connect to a breakout module and then connect your actual peripherals. So as you can see, these are also uh, pretty robust with uh, metallic enclosure and heat sinks to uh, dissipate the heat. So here I have um, an industrial grade PC with a GPU. So this is actually used for AI and deep learning inferencing. Uh, as you can see, these have multiple serial ports and um, it comes with a GPU card embedded as a separate uh, peripheral. On the other side, you can see the camera ports, which uh, it has four Ethernet ports, which could be used for connecting cameras, as well as you know USB 3 ports as well, if in case your camera uh, connectivity is USB based. And you have additional Ethernet ports as well for PLC or just you know connecting it to your internal server or network. Then all this is configurable, and you know like the the heat sinks are again very robust and um, does a pretty good job at heat dissipation. So, the next time you're looking at a machine vision system, pay attention to your PCs and pay attention to how you want to configure the PCs. You have a wide range of industrial compute that's available, right from atom-based processors all the way to the latest GPU-based systems which are used for AI inferencing and even training. So, it's important to choose where in that spectrum your vision application uh, needs lie and accordingly design uh, your computational needs uh, to match those requirements. Thank you, hope this video was useful.